Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today I will be sharing with you my bullet journal setup for the month of May. As usual, all the supplies are going to be listed in the description, so make sure to check that out. If you're watching this on Saturday, my bullet journal setup in real time for this month is going live on Wednesday if you want to journal and plan your month of May with me in real time. As you can tell, the theme for this month is different shades of yellow and orange. I knew since I did the followers control my bullet journal for April that I wanted to do a yellow theme and because that was one of the theme choices for the month of April that you didn't choose, I decided to do it for May and I did a green theme for April and I was very excited to start brainstorming a yellow theme for this month. I'm going to use watercolors for the illustrations, but you can use markers if you prefer. I'm going to keep everything pretty minimal and simple as per usual. For my cover page, I'm using a light yellow and a vibrant yellow Tombow Dual brush pens to create a gradient on the title. Then around the left side of it, I'm creating my first blob of color. I don't know what to call them, it's just an oval circular-ish blob of color that are is going to be like the main illustrations for the whole theme. They will look better once the page is all done, I promise. In the meantime that they dry, I'm adding some light shadows to the title using my Muji 0.38 gel pen. Once the orange blobs of color dried, I'm going with some light shades of yellow to create more circular shapes. I also decided to add some line art leaves to the oval shapes using my 005 Pigma Micron Fineliner to make the theme more put together and to add some visual interest to the pages because when I was brainstorming this theme, I thought that just the blobs of yellow were just too simple for me, so I decided to add some leaves onto my theme. I also added the quote below the title that says, May the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary, as a reminder that some bad things come so better things can appear in our lives. I had some bad weeks at the beginning of April, so this quote is bringing me positive vibes to my life right now. And that is my cover page before the washi tapes that I will add later. By the way, I apologize for the change of light and for the darkness of some clips. Uh, it was very cloudy when I filmed this and I couldn't fix it more than what I did, so I hope you enjoyed the setup anyway. Moving on to my calendar, I'm doing the oval shapes first because I have to let them dry first before I do anything with pen. So I let those dry and I wrote May at the top of the page and I fixed it because it was not centered and then later I went with my Tumble Fudenoske hard tip pen to make it bolder because I felt like the title was a little off. My calendar is going to be a small calendar this month. I was inspired by Blossom Bujo. She did this calendar for March and I really enjoyed the colors and the layout and I decided to try it for May. I normally like big calendars like I did for April, but sometimes it's good to just do a smaller calendar since I don't have a lot of things going on. I'm writing the weekdays with the true yellow Arteza Twee marker and the weekends with a more mustard yellow and also highlighting them on the days below. To finalize these pages I added some washi tape at the top. This month I went light on the washi tapes and I didn't use any stickers to so just change my style a little bit. If you're wondering about the notebook that I'm using, this is the Tsuki Bullet Journal by Notebook Therapy with 160 GSM's paper. 
So yes, you can see in some pages that it's slightly curved, but it was because I painted a large area with watercolors and I'm not really used to do that. So I wasn't very careful about it, but overall the paper holds the water pretty well and I'm very grateful to have the chance to use it. I did a whole video reviewing this notebook, so I'm going to link it in the description if you want to check it out. It's just a minimal detail to keep in mind when using watercolors in your bullet journal. Moving on to my habit tracker, I enjoyed the individual trackers that I did for April, so I wanted to just continue doing them for May. I decided to change things up a bit and do the individual habits on the right side and the title on the left. I can't tell how I feel about it, but it's something different and I like when I do things differently from time to time. I never tried this layout, so let's see how I'm going to fill it in and how I feel about it throughout the month. I always post my full habit tracker on my Instagram at the end of the month. I did 33 squares and the last two I'm just going to maybe leave them blank or to color them in with black. I'm adding some leaves on top of the yellows and I just changed the title using my Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip pen. Next I have my expense tracker. The layout that I did for April was very interesting and I really enjoyed just the simplicity of it, but this month, uh, because I don't know if we're going to still be in quarantine or not, or if in May I'm going to work normally at my job, I decided to divide my expenses by the weeks of the month. I did four rectangles, one for each week, and I'm just going to write in here my incomes and outcomes. And before I have people confused in the comments or I read comments mentioning that May has five weeks, I prefer to divide my weeks for the numbers of the days of the month that fall on that week. So for example, the week that includes the first of May has more days in April than it has in May. So for me, that week belongs to April. That is just how I divide the weeks in my bullet journal. It's much easier for me to see that if a week has four days in April, that week I do it in my April setup and then I have my month of May instead of the other way. It's just easier for me this way, so I just wanted to clarify that before I have comments mentioning that. The next page is my brain dump. The brain dump page has become a major essential in my bullet journal. It's the page that makes my life easier and when I can see everything that I have to do for the month and my projects. And I decided to do a full video about it, like how I make this page and how I use it for and how I use it throughout the day to keep myself productive and organized. As usual, I'm adding my colorful lines around the page to give it more dimension. This is just a simple and minimal detail, but that transforms the page completely. Unfortunately, this month I couldn't come up with a great title for this page, so instead of overthinking it, I just wrote Brain Dump at the bottom, 
and because I accidentally painted the bottom of the page, I fixed it by doing a dash of color on top of it. I normally like to come up with a pun or something like that for my random pages. I did different puns for March and April, but unfortunately for this month I just couldn't think about a better title than just Brain Dump. And then I just finished the page with some leaves and more washi tapes. Moving on to the last pages of the setup, my weekly spread. In April, I tried different layouts for the different weeks, and I posted a journal with me video doing one of those weeks. I'm going to link it in the description and here in the cards if you want to check it out. And so for the first week of May, I wanted to just keep the layout very simple. I'm doing a mini calendar at the top left corner of the page. I don't always do this, but sometimes it looks great on the layout and that is when I choose to do a mini calendar. I'm dividing the pages into four sections each quarter for each day of the week and I'm just highlighting the days with the vibrant yellow Tomo Duo brush pen. I'm keeping the spaces for the days open because I have the little oval shapes in the middle of them and I feel like that is enough stuff on my weekly spread because I'm going to fill them in with black gel pens so they are going to look very cluttered at the end of the week. So uh, then I'm just adding some washi tape and the leaves on them and my weekly spread was done. My weekly spread is normally the minimal page of the setup because I just like to write everything that I need on the daily spaces and just to keep it very minimal. Now I'm just doing a quick flip through of all the pages for my May setup. If you watched the video until this point, thank you so much, I appreciate you a lot. Check the description for all the supplies I used and for my discount codes that you can use to save some money. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!